Gemini. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I'm here to do your reading from now until the end of November. I'm using the Vice Versa deck. I, um, I always cut this deck before I turn on the camera. I don't know why. I only do it with this deck. There's stuff on both sides to see what the starting energy is. <laughs> and we got your card. The Lovers. The Lovers. Couldn't, couldn't be a better start. I don't believe. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is not a private reading. It doesn't have your name on it. It may be for you, but it might not be. So keep that in mind. Um, typically, I focus on love. Whatever comes up, comes up. So it looks like you guys have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Are you ready for love? Are you ready for love? Because there's definitely an opportunity for it here. Where, you know, it's not, uh, you're not alone here. There's, there's two people here. And they've got each other by the hand. Partners. Soulmates. Lovers. Right? So, you have to make a choice. Is this what you want? Are you ready to face the world with another person? Because the opportunity is here. If you are single, you may have somebody that comes into your life unexpectedly and there's an instant attraction. There's a soulmate connection here. Um, but you have to choose. Do you want it? Do you want it? This person is not your usual type, okay? They're not, they're not your usual type. They're not, uh, they may not fit the description of your usual type. They may not act like your usual type, but it's like opposites attract. Okay, so this person may seem like they're the opposite of you, but they're your perfect match. So, yeah. You may feel a little conflicted. Okay, you may feel a little conflicted about um, <laughs> allowing this person to help you even. You know, or to become part of your circle. You may feel like, maybe you're not, you don't feel like you're quite ready for this. You know, maybe you don't really want to believe it. Maybe you're too afraid. Maybe you've been um, trapped in some negative thinking for some quite some time. And you're not quite ready to step outside of your comfort zone. Maybe. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. Somebody is, is trapped and they don't need to be. It's like... Maybe you're comfortable right where you're at. And so you're keeping yourself trapped. But now you have to make this choice. Are you... That's, this is a clear message that keeps coming to me. Are you ready? Are you ready, for Gemini? Are you ready for this partnership? Because it's here. But you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. And you're going to have to let go of your negative thinking. For sure. You have to break free. You have to grab that sword and, and cut the cords. Break free from your fears. You have to open yourself up. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm going to keep that one too. Because it's clear that the time is now to free yourself from this mentality that you've kept yourself in. Because you absolutely have an opportunity to unite with a perfect match. It really is a perfect match that you don't might not see as a perfect match because... They're not your usual, but it really is a perfect match. <coughs> Wish fulfillment, the star card. This is a blessing brought to you from above. It's like maybe one of your ancestors. I don't know. This could mean so many things. You're being given some sort of gift, a blessing. And it's beautiful. Roses are the flower of love. 
could happen very, very quickly. There could be an instant attraction with this person. Maybe, I mean, you could be with this person already or this person is just coming in right now. There's an instant, there's instant attraction. Very quick, fast moving. Um, communication comes through very quickly. Easy communication. These are also the rods of love. I'm going to bring this down in just a minute. Yeah, something is happening fast. Very fast. Ooh. Now, we have the Emperor on the bottom. I don't know if you're dealing with an Aries. Um, but this is about taking control. Being in control. Remember, I said somebody from above. Maybe there's a father figure that has passed away. I don't know. I don't know. There's, I don't know. That is helping you. I don't know. Could be a grandfather or even a male. Anybody. I don't know. Or this, this Aries could be the one that's coming into your life, that they're bringing into your life. Somebody that can take very, very, very good care of you. This doesn't have to be an Aries. This is a person that is very structured, organized, in control, very protective, very dominant. Somebody, that this, if you are a man watching this, this would be you, okay? That is a male energy. That's the energy of the male in this dynamic who has his shit together and can take very good care of his wife or his partner, okay? Um, we do have a... Oh, and we do have a divine connection here. The emperor and the empress, that's husband and wife or counterparts, you know, of the like, you know. There's a, there's a soulmate connection here, okay? That's what this is. We have a soulmate connection here where there's two people that have the opportunity to come together but it looks like the female in this dynamic is a little wishy-washy about it see the empress has her back turned she's not so sure she's the one that's stuck the female in this dynamic is a little scared to allow this to blossom okay she's a little scared to give up her independence perhaps or she's a little scared to <clears throat> open her heart because she's dealt with somebody that was angry and hurtful in the past so if you're a man watching this for a female Gemini she's been she's guarding herself the female the female in this dynamic is guarding herself she's been hurt by some person who had a really big ego and forced her to walk away even though she didn't want to you know she's been belittled and damaged I mean you're dealing with a woman that is afraid to open her heart she's afraid to open her heart because she was being controlled by another person and so now she may lack faith and trust a little bit. So if you're a male watching this, you know, you're, you take her by the hand and tell her you're never going to leave her. All right? A lot. Take her by the hand. Tell her you're never going to. Communicate with her. Communicate, communicate, communicate. If you want this, this female, tell her. Post haste because that's what she needs. So anyway, if you're single, there is somebody that is being brought to you from above. It's, there's, it's a blessing. It's wish fulfillment. It's like somebody that has, I keep thinking this, and so this is what it is. Somebody that has passed away is bringing two people together. And it's somebody that is much better suited for you than this ass who treated you like shit and forced you to walk away. We have a better suitor here for you. And it looks as though whoever is coming into your life is willing to face this storm. 
They are willing to do whatever it takes to help you to make you comfortable, okay? They're they're willing to do whatever it takes to help you see your worth again. You know, they're going to help you. They're going to help you to open up. So you've got somebody here that is coming in to help you heal. Love heals. Love heals. It's being brought to you from above. This person is a really good match. Although you may feel like you don't dare to accept it. If you're the female in this dynamic, you may feel like you can't trust. This could absolutely be true love. Roses are a sign of true love. And this is true love. And then we have these two. This man is going to do whatever he can do to protect you. The man that is coming into your life or is in your life at this point that <coughs> you want to be with will do whatever it takes to protect you. Okay? That's what I see. Very protective man here. We have Gemini. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I think this is this could be the person who hurt you. Could be anybody. But this is the page of swords. This is and look at he's angry. This is an this is the same person right here. We have a angry person that made a and he's right above this woman. It's like he stomped on her. He stomped on this woman. Made her pushed her right into the ground. Made her feel like she was nothing, like he was always on top. And that's why she is so guarded. Now we have somebody that's coming in. We have a man that has the courage, who has the ability to help her. But she's afraid. So just be, just, that's what it is. She's just afraid. She just, all you have to do is... Take care of her. Take care of her and she'll be okay. So anyway, we do have an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with somebody new. Not the person that you walked away from that belittled you and pushed you into the ground. This new person is coming into your life very quickly or they're here now and things are progressing very fast. It's a very fast moving energy where this person is just like flying into your life and there's there's and there's opposition because see there's there's opposition there is it's like this woman may be trying to oppose it because she's so scared but all all you have to do is 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 take her by the hand and tell her you're never going to leave her because that's exactly what she wants to hear so that's what I see. Let's see what else we can get here. Um, yeah, we have a woman that's really scared. She's really scared to uh, open up. But we have this this male that can help you to heal. If you are the woman watching this, this man can really help you. He really can. But you've dealt with somebody that is probably still in your energy because this card came up. These two cards came up and this woman still doesn't feel good enough. She does, she's not facing forward, right? The Empress should be facing forward. She's got her back turned because she's so scared. She doesn't know her worth because of this ass who is still in her energy. This person is going to help her. The new per this is the new person. And the, the lover's card is a card of choice. It is. You have to make a choice. Do you let this... I hate... I'm trying not to swear, but the only word I can think of is prick. I'm sorry. This prick hold you back from this new love? Do you let this person continue to control you? Continue to keep your back turned on somebody that can help you heal? Because there's an opportunity to come together with somebody that is the exact opposite of this prick, okay? 
And, you know, this, this is the perfect suitor brought to you from heaven above. So if you are single, be prepared to have this soulmate connection show up in your life out of the blue. Maybe you've already met this person and you're still scared. I'm here to tell you that this person in you is a perfect match. It really is. Even though you may feel like you can't accept it. That's your own protection. That's your own fears. It's real. It's like, and like I said, it's going to be instant attraction. It's like all of a sudden <laughs> that, that lightning hits that tree and sets it on fire. So it looks to me as though, you know, there's, there's going to be some sort of instant spark between you and another person that sets your life on fire, changes your life. And you're going to have to take that blindfold off, cut the cords with this bad energy that you're still letting control you. And go down that new path with confidence. It's really a time... To allow this person into your life so you guys can help each other heal. This is a healing card. They're mirroring each other. You have a, somebody that has come into your life that is so well suited for you. And they're going to help you. Let them. So be prepared for an instant attraction with somebody that is not your usual type. And that's all I can say. We're going to get you one of these. See what? Gemini. Gemini has to choose. This is a choice. You have to choose. Do you let this person control your happiness or not? That's what the choice is. You have an opportunity for a new partnership that can lead to forever. If you allow it. Now well, we got two. <laughs> Angel of love. You are being brought somebody from above. Like I said, I said somebody from that has, I knew it was somebody from the other side. The love of your life is being brought to you now. Nine plus four is 13, four. The fours are angels. They're, it is, I'm serious. You're being brought the love of your life at this time. Accept it. Take it. You deserve it. They want you to have it. They want you to have it. Do not let this person control. No, it's time for you to heal. It's time for you to let that go. Cut the cords. Cut those cords. We've talked about this many, many times. You have somebody here that... <laughs> There's going to be so much passion and, and love between you guys that you'll be inseparable. Inseparable. 
but you're going to have to walk away from the person that, and that means that mentally, even if you're not with this person, if you are, I don't know, you have to physically and mentally remove yourself from this person's grip. Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Forgive, period. And there's fear of abandonment here. There is. And it could go all the way back to your childhood. Let go of those fears. Forgive everybody that has abandoned you. Because this person is not going to. And I have to remind you, this person is not your usual type. They're not your usual type. The usual types didn't work, right? Do you think they're going to continue to bring you the same old, same old? They will if you keep that blindfold on. You have to take that blindfold on, off, and see beyond the surface because the same old same old never worked before you'd still be there you wouldn't be watching this reading you have an opportunity for wish fulfillment and love being brought to you from above to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Just go for it. Have fun. Open up. Unblock yourself. So be prepared to have a new beginning with someone that you didn't expect. This is not... somebody from your past anywhere in these cards could be somebody that you've known before but it's not somebody that you have dated before because the person that you were with before was a prick you have somebody better suited for you let them in they're not going to abandon you like all the others have. So yeah, that looks to me like you have somebody coming in that is going to fight for you. They're going to put in a lot of work and they're not going to give up. All you have to do is allow it. If you don't allow it, then you'll pay that consequence and you'll lose the opportunity. Allow this person to take you by the hand. It's being brought to you from above. Good luck.